we are in Treblinka. There was a Camp Treblinka 1 built here in the year of 4041, but it was the year of 1942 when the German Nazis decided to build in the vicinity of a major rail line connecting Warsaw with Białystok and then Vilnius. Somewhere in the density of the forest, somewhere in the vicinity of the former front line, they decided to build Treblinka too. Treblinka, because it was a genocide conducted in the heart of civilized Europe, it was a genocide conducted by one of the most technologically advanced countries in that time world, Nazi Germany, is definitely becoming an epicenter of human genocidal activity in 20th century. And I also think that it's becoming an epicenter of human genocidal eclipse in the entire length of history as such. Why is it so? So very early morning, July 23rd, 1942, there's a train load of over 7,000 of Warsaw Jews coming to the non-existent rail spore, which was located roughly behind my left shoulder. And this initiates the next 12 months only of the existence of Treblinka II death camp. This 12 months, even in the time span of World War II, is becoming the most murderous 12 months during the war and during the 20th century experience. Treblinka is already the third German Nazi extermination camp built within the so-called Action Reinhardt. So it's following the experiences gained in Bauschitz, in Sobibor, and then from July 42, Treblinka. But it's also following the experiences that were already worked out and gained in the fourth immediate death camp or death center called Helmno, in central Poland next to Łódź. But it's also following the earlier experiences that were collected in uh, the running and perfecting and the best possible practice in the place called Auschwitz-Birkenau, later on also Majdanek. So Treblinka is pretty much common in the very last phase of perfecting the technology of murder. And yes, only in this site within the next 12 months following the 23rd of July 1942, up until August, September 43. In early August of 1943, an act of utmost bravery happens in Treblinka. There's a couple of hundreds of Jews that are here are managing to organize a revolt. A couple of hundreds of them are trying to run. A couple of dozens of them are successfully escaping the territory. By November 43, the camp is non-existent. By November 43, there is not a single trace of anything remaining here of the camp physicality. So we are talking about roughly 12 months of a murderous operation in which an estimate is, is in between 800,000 to 900,000 of Polish Jews. Pretty much Treblinka became the site where the civilization of Polish Jewry, yes, this civilization that lasted on those territories for more than 900 years, was brought to an end within an operation of a couple of months. This is an aerial picture of the territory of the former German Nazi death camp Treblinka II, taken by the Allied plane in September of 1944, roughly a year after the German Nazis finished the mass extermination of close to 900,000 of mostly Polish Jews at the site. And in late of 1943, they decided to deface and erase any structure in an attempt of denying the existence of Treblinka. The death camp of Treblinka existed for a little bit over one year. And this picture has a map 
or drawing which is showing you the three prime sections of a comp like this. Here section number one is the administrative section which means that they used to be the administrative barracks of the Austrian and German SS officers or soldiers and barracks built for a couple of hundreds of auxiliary usually Ukrainian guards who were used in order to guard and perform all of the camp duties on the territory, particularly to inspect the inmates, the victims who were forced into conducting of certain technical parts of Treblinka functioning. So that's section number one, administrative. Section number two is the so-called reception area, arrival area. In the very bottom of this area you can see this red striped line which is showing you the place where the rail siding has been. A rail siding into which at any time 20 rail cattle wagons can be pulled in. From the reception area those on average about 2000s of Polish Jews were rushed into the two barracks that are standing more or less in the center of the picture. And then this red striped arrow path is showing you the path taken by close to 900,000 of mostly Polish Jews on their way towards the third section of a camp like this in the upper right corner of this picture marked with number three this was the death camp facility, which means a relatively small area in case of Treblinka with multiple mass graves dug with industrial excavators from the nearby gravel pit. And those two X's that you can see in the middle of this section, the smaller one in the center of death camp was the gas chamber number one existing from late July of 1942 into September of 1942. The bigger X is of a larger, much more efficient and scale-oriented gas chamber which is marked with this clearer visible X. From this point this section will become at first the burial place of by December 1942, over 700,000 of Polish Jews. By summer of 1943, when the camp is gradually discommissioned, close to 900,000 of Jews. In spring of 1943, and an attempt of covering up the camp and denying the fact of mass murder, the Zonda commando members, the young Jews who are forced to do it, are forced to exhume all of the mass ditches with corpses and they are forced to start burning the exhumed corpses in enormous open uh, pious and greets that are organized in this death camp territory. In summer of 1943, there are no more Polish Jews to be murdered in large numbers. Those who are still alive are only alive because they are economically vital and abused in the German Nazi slave labor system. So Treblinka can be discommissioned. Treblinka is erased from the territory.